Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna be sketching out a few Ming vase shapes on your sketch paper here. So you have a couple of things to help you out. You may um, grab an iPad. I have nine, so you may or may not get one. And you can look up on Google Images Ming vases. Um, or you can use this handout that I sketched out some vases and just made some copies for you. You can also look in this in the yellow folders that I have at each of your tables that has a bunch of different images of Ming vases. Try to ignore all the designs on them for this part of the project and just focus on the shapes of them. So we're just going to spend a little bit of time uh, doing this. If um, you know the, the point of this is for you to find some shapes that you really like that you'll end up using for the ones that you decide to do for your final project. So I'm just gonna sketch maybe six or seven of them. You could maybe do up to 10. Some people work a little bit faster. They might have a ton. Some might work a little bit slower. Um, so maybe around six or seven would be like a, the minimum number that I'd like to see on your paper. Now there are a lot of different ways to sketch things. Um, I'm just gonna show you my method and maybe that works for you, maybe it doesn't. For the video, I'm gonna do this in Sharpie so you're able to see the lines on the paper really crystal clear, but you guys should just use a pencil. And remember, if you make a mistake, you can just erase it. These are sketches. They are not uh, for a grade. They're just to kind of get you drawing a little bit and working on drawing different shapes. Um, I can't erase because I'm gonna use a Sharpie, but you can, but again, it's just a sketch. So relax, okay, enjoy it. So I'm just gonna start drawing some, some different ones. So I might start with this shape up at the top. I'm gonna try to recreate that shape here on my paper. And so I'm gonna start with the top, the neck. You could either just draw a horizontal line or a little oval. And then I'm gonna draw a straight line down as a guide to kind of line up the shapes that make up the rest of this. If you look at my sketches, I do that. And again, if you are like, that doesn't make sense for me, that's okay. Uh, but I like to do that so that when I draw the other shapes that make up this vase, they're all in a line and the bottom isn't like over to the side on accident, right? This kind of helps me line it up straight. So I drew my little oval, drew my straight line, and then I'm gonna start kind of sketching lightly a circle. I'm gonna try to get it lined up on there. And now I'm gonna connect it. So I do the simple basic shapes first, and then I start to do the outline or like the contours of the vase. So now I'm gonna try to draw the neck on one side and bring it around, and then the neck of the vase on the other side and bring it around. And then I'm gonna add that little foot at the bottom, like that. So again, it's a sketch. Is it the most beautiful drawing I ever did? Probably not but it's pretty good, it's a good start. So I'm gonna continue sketching between six to 10 vases. All right, so I finished the sketches of, I did nine vases. You might have time to do that many, um, but it, you, like I said, you wanna try to get at least six. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna pick my favorite four vases, and I'm gonna put a little star beside them because those are the ones, the shapes, that I'm gonna end up using for my final project. I would like for you to pick three different vases and put a star by the ones that you select.